Well, all eyes will be set on fashion's biggest night of the year, which will take place at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City to gather funds for the museum's Costume Institute. The theme for this year's show will be In America, an anthology of fashion, and it's based on a two-part exhibition. The second part will reflect the evolution of American style and also explore the work of individual tailors, dressmakers, and designers. The dress code will be gilded glamour and the white tie. It will underscore inclusivity in fashion, while the exhibition will praise heroes who have pushed the envelope in the American design sphere. Well, joining us today on Arise 360, as we talk about fashion's biggest night, how the Nigerian fashion industry can help keep up with the rest of the world, and of course, his cover on this day's style is Maya Tafo, a Nigerian fashion designer. Well, welcome. <laughs> My very, very good friend, Maya yes, Tafo. Welcome. No one will believe I haven't seen you in a year. Is that true? Yeah. yeah? A bit more even, actually. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. You're doing so well. And Thank congratulations you very much. on your amazing cover. Thank you very much. You Thank know, you. obviously, you know, Kanye just got that new job. Oh, yes, that new executive role. And editor. It was quite instructive <laughs> that she made you the first The first cover. cover. I feel quite honored. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a big deal. Yes. You owe us. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. All always right. indebted. <laughs> you're, you're always welcome on Arise. And this day, obviously, you are the lead brand to go for everything America. What? Men's fashion? Fashion. Wedding, <laughs> wedding outfits. <laughs> now you're all also doing these uh, luxury brands for um, luggage and all of that. Yes, we're working on luggage, and we also launched our shoe line. Yeah. Uh, recently, so yeah, so there's 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 a lot going on, and a lot more to come. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tell us a little bit. Give us a little bit inside <laughs> the inside scoop of uh, your cover story. For the viewers, well, for the people that have not gotten a, a, a look at your uh, cover um, story. Interesting. That cover started a, a long time ago. It started since last year. For some reason, we were in conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the shoot done, guided by, interestingly, by um, KK. You know, she guided the whole process. Yeah. Even before she became ed um, executive um, editor. You know, she was like, I want something really different for the photo yes. shoot and all that. So I worked with a photographer named... Um, I did buy a photographer, that's his handle. And I told him, listen, this is what we're going for. Mm. You take creative control, but we have to meet the brief. And if we mess up, we won't get the cover. <laughs> well, as simple as that. And he delivered. I think we delivered. Yeah, it's, you did. And it's a breathtaking cover. So tell us a little bit about your evolution. We're going to talk about the Met Gala, but I'd yes. love for you to tie in what you've been doing with the fashion industry so far, mm. uh, and then you know, tie it into that theme of the Met Gala, which I introduced earlier today, yeah. um, Gilded Glamour All White Tie event. Interestingly, I mean, the Met Gala, the theme this year pretty much is celebrating like the history of American fashion. Yes. So they're going back to when, you know, the designers of old, a lot of people may know or may not know, people like um, Austin, people like Oscar de la Renta, and they try to take elements from there as a stepping stone for, or inspiration for this year's Met Gala. Met Gala. So we're looking at it, and it'd be quite interesting to see, because it almost feels like it's a continuation of last year, which was a um, lexicon of American yeah. um, fashion. So it almost feels like it's a co continuation, you know, but... Um, it's always an interesting thing to see how they would push the boundaries. Because when you talk about couture or structured dresses, you yes. never look into America for some reason. And they keep saying that we can do this, you know? So it'd be interesting to see what happens on the red carpet and how they can take the history and bring it to the now yeah. and showcase it on the red carpet of the Met Gala. Well, as you know, the Met Gala is a fundraising event and they are trying to raise money for the Costume Institute yes. at the Met. Yes. So this is why I ask you this question about what you've been doing with the mm. fashion industry so far to bring about that type of conversation within yeah. the African industry. I, don't I mean, know if, Nigeria, let's start with. Yeah, I don't know if we're prepared for that because mm. we do not have the structure for what it is. So we don't have the museum, we don't archive our work in a certain place where people use it to see what has happened in the past and what's happening now. So first of all, we do not even have the facility where we have a, a museum to stick our work as art. You know, so with that being a deficient, you know, mm. it's like, how do you move on from there? I think we start with little things like Night of the Stars, where you just celebrate fashion designers and their work and their history yes. and gradually build up to something like this. But just going straight to a fancy evening to raise funds for what we look 
you know, a bit, uh, will I say, deceptive. <laughs> well, wouldn't it be more um, engaging if you were to create something in that manner where you, you know, start up a, a, some sort of museum or yes. some sort of uh, um, school yeah. where, you know, you get... I believe we, we yeah. even talked about... So we can actually start yeah. that yeah, exactly. now mm -hmm. as a build-up to what we're about to see. So it's like, if we start that now, we have to go back into history to start getting pieces from people like Shade Fan, who officially the first fashion designer, in quote-unquote, in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Then we can now start coming to people like Deola Sego, or even before Deola, there was the um, Vivid Imagination, there was the um, um, Monami, you know, there was Monabi. I yes, forgot about Monabi. There was people like that. Yes. There's you no know, the, the Frank Ocean. There were people before then. There was a Kese Jabari. Yes. You know, these were people that actually, you know, I mean, are so rest in peace. Remy Lagos. Mm. So these are people that actually build the foundation in which we're stepping on today. So we can start now. Then we have to go retrospective. And as we move on, and like you said, it's quite educational for people yes. in the fashion industry now to see what was happening then and see how they can even piggyback on that to even shoot the fashion industry forward. Yeah. So it will be a great idea. It's just a case of who's going to lead the charge. Yes. We should put that on the rise to lead the charge <laughs> as a leading fashion brand But you brand know we are up to the task. On the and continent. we've been doing so well. Oh, you yes. know, the Arise Fashion oh, yes. Week has yes. been going on for more than a decade now. Yes. And so, yes. you know, we have been putting people like you yeah. on the platform. I remember the other show where you did, and you featured a supermodel, Naomi Campbell. That oh, was yes. Fantastic. Oh, that was amazing. That was amazing How was for my that career. for you? What, that was was, amazing what for did my that career. do for your career? Oh, it did a lot. You know, it's, it's like, um, I mean, there was a misconception for some people overseas that I invited Naomi Campbell to Nigeria to do my show exclusively. I was like, oh my, I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it gave, you, gave me more recognition internationally because there was a reference point yeah. for, for the brand, which, which, was, which was quite good. And it wasn't something I would have dreamt of, you know, because yeah. I couldn't afford to do that financially. You know, to get Naomi to do my stuff and right. I get it on this platform, which I'm forever grateful yeah. to. Yeah. So I was reading a little bit of your article on This Day Style and I saw that you, you know, you transitioned from the marketing expert that you are. What yeah. was the name of your brand? Diageo. Yeah. And then you, you talked about the fact that you, your first, the first person you made a, 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 an outing for. Yeah, first celebrity. Who was the celebrity? Basuma. It, so, it's so strange. <laughs> no, it, it is so strange that you have an actor. It's a, it's a musician, sorry. Musician, yeah. A musician, and now you are doing fashion. Yeah. I would love for you to talk about that and that transition. And, of course, we have to talk more on the Met Gala oh, yes, when definitely. we come back from great, the break. Great. All right, then. <laughs> We're going to go on a short break now. When we come back, this day Styles star cover, Maya Tafel, will be with us. Stay with us. Well, welcome back to Arise 360. Still in the studio with me is Nigerian fashion designer, Maya Tafo, who will be discussing fashion's biggest night, the Met Gala. Thank you for sticking with us. So you. let's, you know, let's just talk about the Met Gala now. I feel like we've talked a little bit about, you know, your work, but, you know, we were about to wrap up that conversation about mm. your transition from, yeah. you know, Diageo, is that yes, it? Yes, to yes. making an outfit for Pasuma. Yes. Tell us that real quick before I we... mean, um, I started off and like six weeks after I really said I was official, yes. I got into um, a partnership with a reality TV show, uh, a dance show called Celebrity Takes Two. And someone was designing for the instructor and they asked me to design for the, for the celebrity. Yeah. And it happened to be Pasuma. Just like that. <laughs> that you made an <clears throat> outfit for Pasuma and that, that was... outfit was a tuxedo and as they say, the rest is history. It just blew up. It was a 13-week show, and I was on TV every single week That's amazing. for 13 weeks. Completely amazing. This is six weeks into me saying, I want to do this full-time. So it was a great, you know, um, springboard for me. A lesson for everyone, right? Oh, yes. All right. So let's talk about the Met Gala. Yes. And, you know, it's been going on for years. Yeah. And, you know, obviously the... Um, Vogue fashion editor, Anna Winter, is yeah. the supervising uh, guest for that event. She's I mean, she job. supervises the event Since every year. Since 1995, she's been doing that. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, I want, you to, I want us to piggyback on the power of Anna Winter and mm. fashion. Yeah. And maybe if you can even tie that in into Nigerian uh, fashion designing and, you know, editing fashion to start with as well. Because I know we used to work on, you know, magazines like Mania, Complete yes. Fashion. 
Yeah, and now you, you, you know, then, yeah. obviously. <laughs> so talk to us about that. I think it's literally the power that Vogue America has and the relationship they have with the designer because the magazine gets the designer a strong reach. So they respect the editor and her opinions because at the end of the day, she's like the gatekeeper between them and the people. So yeah. if Vogue says this is good, the people will accept that this is good. And the fashion designer needs to... Uh, uh, make her believe that it is good. So I've watched a show called um, First Monday, which is about the Met Gala. And she was going around to different, and planning this show, then going around to designers and looking at what, uh, what they were designing for the period. And you know, it was um, the big September issue and the first, and first Monday, right? Two different TV shows yeah. I watched with, with Anna Wintour in it. It showed her power. Yes. She was in Paris with Jean-Paul Gaultier and he was literally shaking when she was reviewing his pieces. So that shows that kind of power. So someone like that is doing something like the Met Gala and she's bringing people together and she's handpicking you to be one of the either 600 or 400 guests. You know, last year was yes. 400, used to be 600 guests to be there. You better come there with your best outfit and your check. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a it doesn't business. matter. Because yes. it's a business, you need to yeah. come with it's your check. Business, yeah. So you come in a glamorous outfit and no check, next year you wouldn't be invited. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's a fundraiser. That, yeah. That's what people seem to forget. Yeah. It's about raising money for the for the museum and the institute. Now, we haven't, I haven't um, gone deep with this conversation in terms of, you know, the ticket pricing, but I know that they are planning to raise at least an eight-figure salary, an eight-figure amount. Yes. I think last year they raised about 16.1 or 16.4, mm. um, if I'm correct, for the gala. Now, I'd like to even know what that type of um, thing can do for the creative industry here in Nigeria. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 that that will get us to if it's put in the right hands for the yeah. right process. It would, like I believe that apart from we creating a museum, if if that's the um, line of thought. Yes, I believe that if we're serious about fashion, we could be the production hub for the whole continent. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, apart from being the most populous, we also lead in terms of fashion. Yes. You know, people look at us and copy trends from us. And you know, I was in Abidjan recently. You know, and the way they look at you and go like you're the Nigerian, right? <laughs> because of the way you're wearing your caftan, Absolutely. it's different from the way they're wearing theirs. And they want our style because theirs is really big. They don't have designers. They have like some designers and like pretty much more tailors than anything else. So I can imagine we having that kind of money to actually create something where we can actually feed the whole continent to be ridiculous. Yeah. It'd be a huge return on investment. I think the government is sleeping on fashion in this country. This to be is honest. what I'm saying. We've yeah, been, we've been having this conversation for a long time. For yeah. a long time. I yeah. just hope someone's listening. Maybe Anna Winter is listening to your fashion that money. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, she's been doing so well for fashion, even with LVMH and yes. all of that. It's, you know, completely amazing when you really invest in fashion and the turnout. Uh, it could really be a yeah. lucrative business for uh, Nigeria. And I know it is a lucrative business for Nigerian tailors. There's a difference now, yes. right? Yes. There are the tailors yes. who, yes. you know, make the O1 bear pieces. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you ha we have, then you know, designers, couture yeah. designers yeah. like yeah. you. So it's quite interesting that the market is very... There are different parts of it, you know. So you know that we haven't even tapped into that industry for the tailors yeah. because I believe that they make a whole lot of money. Oh, no, they do. But they also suffer importation of fabrics. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which, at the end of the day, is sad because most of them pass it on to the customers. Yeah. And that's why the customers demand one of unique pieces every single time you want to see it. Yes. So it has some kind of value to them. So I, I wouldn't want to be paying a lot of them because, I mean, the girls that make those Really, those are shy beads. You see the illusion neck and embellishment <laughs> ones. Some things, some of them charge close to a million naira for yes. one. You know, so it's 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 huge business. And they make it every weekend. Oh yes, so make you know, several every weekend. Do you know how I realized this just because I was going to make an outfit, I believe, two weeks ago, and. Every Nigerian tailor. Oh, was it for I Rita's called. wedding? <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was for Rita's wedding. I, I could not make you, you Rita's won't, you won't wedding. Get this luck or even yes, did you see? So that was the power there. Rita's wedding. It was so beautiful to yes. see yeah. that you know. But these tailors were booked yeah. for six months. Yes, well, you're, you're booked out. Yeah, it's and there's another wedding and another wedding, so they're booked back to back to back. It's and it's very lucrative. It's completely it's, it's amazing. It's also very very demanding, so yeah. you should be able to like stand the pressure because there's a lot of pressure even yeah. on the tailors. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. So now let's talk about 
your favorite celebrities. Who are you looking forward to at the Mets Gala tonight? The uh, red carpet. Oh, man. Sarah Jessica Parker, I always want to see her, right? Okay. And Rihanna has a huge belly. She, oh, right. But I think she's going to We don't know if she's going to be there or not be there. Uh -huh. But, you know, it would be nice to see if she's there. Um, what's his name? Gerard Leno? Mm, Leto. Leto. Gerard Leto, yeah. Yes, that guy. The one who had the head He had his head his some years. I, I, I love back, to see yeah. him because I think he, he actually breeds the... Well, when it comes to men's, we're very few people. Harry Styles is someone yes. else you want to see. Kanye has issues now, so we do not know <laughs> if he's going to be there or not going to be there. Yeah. But those are the guys that I, I look forward to seeing. Yeah. So apart from the, the females that you see, um, Cynthia Erivo, mm, I want to see. Okay. She's, she's always very interesting with she fashion. Is, she delivers she? every single time. Yeah. So, and she always follows the key. And our sister, I don't know, Lupita yeah. Young, I also want to see how yeah. she interprets you know, the, the theme this yeah. year. So there, there are a few faves we want to see t today. Yeah. <laughs> exactly today. I know, today, <laughs> right? Well, the theme is not so over the top. It's like white tie and like gold and all so of that. The it's like that the Sean, you know, like uh, PDD and all of yeah. that looking all I mean, for clean that, that is cut. white tie, yeah. it's the white bow tie, the tail yeah. coat, you know, but also how can you embellish that to be something correct. more. Yeah, you know? Correct, yeah, correct. So I, 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 I don't want to see a typical white tie there. This is it. I kind of feel it to be a little <laughs> bit boring. I don't want to, I want to be for surprised. For the guys. Yes, for the guys, even for That's the ladies. That's why I called, you know, people like Gerard and Harry, because yes. I know that those will definitely not go with the rule book and yes. twist it on this head. So my favorite year for the Met was the Heavenly Bodies with um, yeah. Rihanna. I mean, I think she absolutely killed that look yeah. right there. She, it was yeah. the most amazing Only Look fully it was embellished. Heavy. For me, it, it was nice. Yeah. I love the hairpiece. I, I think that was amazing. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, Cardi B did not disappoint with her look, as well as Jennifer Lopez. Those are the people that have been, you know, been on the red carpet for years. Cardi now. B has and just yeah. decided to be a style icon from nowhere. <laughs> Do you think so? From nowhere. Really? I think she's been doing well. That's what I'm saying. She, yeah. she picked it up a yeah. few years ago with, you know, the dress from, um, was it from, um, was it from Mungla? Mm. That dress, it, it, literally, she just pushed it and pushed it. Now she's like, you want to see her. You yeah. know, we didn't want to see, like, Nicki Minaj is not somebody who said, I want to see yes. or any female rap artist from, from way back. But Cardi B now, we want to see. Yeah. You For know? me, it's Lady Gaga as well. Because oh, yeah. was it last year she had the umbrella theme? Yeah. And she came out with that huge pink, yes. beautiful. Yes. Uh, I, I forget uh, Gaga. Yes, <laughs> you can't forget Lady Gaga. <laughs> forget you can't Gaga, forget yeah. Lady Gaga. But you know, I think that I'm going. I mean, I, we're going to. I'm going to talk to the Arise 360 host, Kachi Ofia. She's in New York right oh, now. Oh yeah, yeah, I know she's and going. She's, she's in New York she's, right she's now, there. and she's going to give us. All of the updates, um, you know, on the Met Gala, much later on the show today. Great. But, you know, I wanted to just do a fun fact with you. Uh, oh, I saw that okay. you had, I, it's not a fun fact. Yeah. I, I saw you had 10 things on the list. Oh, I have yes. to pull it up because I don't have a memory right now. <laughs> 10 right. things that, Ten that things you didn't know about. <laughs> about Maya Tafo. <laughs> yes. So what is, what is number one on that 10 list? I remember what was number one. <laughs> there, there, there are a few interest, I had to think of what people didn't know about me. Yeah. So I talked about the first person that just was passionate about. That's one thing I didn't know. Yeah. I also told them. There was a food thing, Maya. Had, you have to. Oh, when that, I eat, I sweat on my head. <laughs> yes, that one. Yes. I sweat on my head when I eat. Mm. And I can, I can totally actually murder someone for pepper snail. Yeah. Which is quite sad. Then it's also about my um, <clears throat> career that I did. I do have a song. Mm. Where I featured YJ and Prince. That's and this song true. has a video. Yeah, you have to sing the for The title us when of the song is Stay With Me. <laughs> you <laughs> have to most sing people didn't for know us about that. Come, yeah. uh, there, were few, there were a few things. Yeah. Then I absolutely love to dance and can dance. I used to be a salsa that I know. instructor. That I know. <laughs> <laughs> At a point in time in my life. Yeah. So when I was putting those things together, I realized that, oh, wow, there are a few things that a lot of people do not know about you. Well, you have done so well, Maya Tafo. You are always such a delight to talk to Thank i can't wait for your next me. project <laughs> and you know we've talked a lot about projects but i, think I know the next we we big thing we for have you to do projects together <laughs> awesome thank you thank you so much you and congratulations much on your beautiful cover thank you very well much well done thank you very much it's well always done. a pleasure to be here <laughs> well all right